Welcome to Click Star, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, Alex Coons, and Tyler Spees. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everybody know Clickstoff is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, world's largest hero clicks retailer. Find hero clicks new and old on Trollandtoad.com and use coupon code Clickstoff for 5% off your hero clicks order. Merchant and pre order items do not apply. I managed to say that in one breath this time. Uh, and if you like what you're hearing today here on Clickstoff, check us out at patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. Dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. $5 and above gets entered into our Discord server and the channel for Patreons um, for exclusive hero click strategy and tactics discussion. And joining me today is Jason, who sounds totally normal and there's nothing wrong with him at all. Alvy, uh, I apologize in advance. <laughs> and Tyler going to join the House of Dragon Spees. Sure. Um, and then, lastly but not leastly, as usual, we have Alex, hoping that that internet gets keeps him going. Coos. That's right, ladies. You can see all my values on the front now, but you still gotta see my special powers on the back. Hmm. Mm. By the way, you guys, mm. you guys didn't uh, respond today in the chat. I, I, um, I heard somebody today. Somebody that I know is is possessed by an owl. No, we did not respond to this because we know what this is. Anytime you come out of left field, it's right. usually a, a D nuts joke or it's some other setup that's like, uh, yeah, no, we're we're not playing into this. Oh, so. Gosh. I just missed it. I didn't see you. Sunday. I saw it and I'm like, I know no, what he's going I, for. I. Okay. No, I know somebody that's possessed by an owl. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, poor person. Right. All right, so rules update. <laughs> so, I don't know, we're here. Rules update number four. Totally short article, no big changes, no controversy. Thanks, everybody, for listening to Clicks Off today. Talk to you all next time. Yep. Later. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what if we just ended that and then started a new episode? <laughs> right. Like, sorry, next week. Hilarious. I wish I almost wish we could just post two episodes. So this is officially the last one, right? All the changes they've done, they've listed them. This is it, right? Yep. Right. So um, the other I, ones I didn't talk about. Yeah. So I did see in the rules chat where the comp got updated, where Brian uh, said in there that um, he published the wrong version. And he published okay. a new one that had some like typos on it and stuff. Um, so there's a new version since yesterday, but I think it's been updated now. Uh, if I read the post correctly in there, so okay. um, so we're going down the article. We're just going to go point by point. Um, new character cards. Um, this is the one thing in this um, article that upset me the most. Really. Yeah, absolutely. The loss of flavor text. That is pretty sad. I uh, yeah, I I hate that that they took that away. I don't think it's like. I wonder if it was a licensing thing or if it was something else. I don't know if we will ever find out for sure, but. Um, I don't really see the big deal why they couldn't. Like, I'm looking at Spider Gwen's card. Like, why couldn't they just? put like some catchphrases or funny things like above the real name or something like well if you scroll down to venom thanos's card well no no i know clear. right it doesn't have to be for every card we, we're not asking well, here, for flavor text on well, here, everything right here's an idea why don't we just leave the cards like they were well i mean i think the goal was to get the get the dial on the front well, yeah, you remember you remember when they first said they wanted to do that, and everybody bitched, and they put it on the back instead. We just forget about all that. No, no, yeah. we didn't. We didn't. They did. Apparently. Well, well, no, the people that are 
complaining about the card now is forgetting. Now they're all like, no, we want it somewhere else. I think the biggest the biggest miss about this is just the fact that special powers are still on the back. I think if special powers, like in, in this case, Venom Thanos, like if they didn't have the powers and traits on the back, then I don't think it'd be a big to-do. But they're like, oh, yeah, we wanted to move it to the front to make it easier to read, blah, blah. Well, I still got to turn the card over to read the right. other powers that he has. Like, I didn't need a giant picture of the sculpt. I'm sorry. I well, okay, I, I will caveat that for someone who is very bad at organizing, having that on there and being able to say, this card goes to this specific figure, because there are fig a lot of sculpt reuse, to being able to see, like, all right, Ven Venom Thanos is different, right? It's a super rare. There's not many of those sculpts. But some of the commons, uncommons that share sculpts, I'm okay with that, right? To be able to go one to one, I've matched up my cards. It makes it easier, maybe in BRs as well. Like I I'm okay with that. It gives hey. a little something else onto the card besides it just being like black and like a symbol, right? It's usually like the set symbol on the back. Like yeah. okay, whoop de doo. Like I'm cool with that sculpt thing. It makes cards a little bit more lively because before it was they just came out of the little circle, right? Yeah, like it's just so I, um, I I'm fine with that. It for me it's just I don't understand the point if you still have to put powers on the back. Well, you they, you don't put them on the front if they fit, but you know, like Spider Gwen's is all on the front, right? It just depends on how many there are. Yeah, um, they sh they should have just allowed it to be like on. Par I don't know. They're, they should have designed it a little differently. I feel like. I, I get what you're coming from, Alex, and I, and I think it's fine. But at the end of the day, it's, it's just a fucking card. I don't, I don't care. It's just a card. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that big a deal. I do, I do like it better. I think um, it looks nicer, it looks neater, and all the info I want is on the the front. It's it, it's annoying. It's not, you're all the info you want is not on the front. Yeah. It is. What no, is not, not on the front? Not on spider. Special powers are on the fucking back. Well, on they're some on the, them at least. They're on the front if it can fit. We we can't well, if it can't I fit. You, I, bet, I bet there's a lot of them that won't fit. I probably, but it, I don't okay, know. Okay, it's a, not all there. Then is it? It is. If they can fit it. I, what, how in, they, how, in, if they can't fit it, how are they going to do some, it? In some cases, it's not there. All there. Then is it? I, I as, will. As much as will fit is on the front. I like that. I like that. Well, the the dial and the point value and the keywords and the range and the improved moving abilities on the front. You kept having to flip the card over. That's always been um, on the front. All of that? I don't think so. Not the range. The, the range has the range been. and the improved abilities. Yeah, the, the, the improved abilities of, were uh, around the oh, half yeah, they moon were the, half moon thing. Yeah. yeah, I will. Maybe it was I, just the range then. I will say... Uh, Raised on the dial, so... I'm was fine. it point value, too? Point value was on the back, too? Yeah. Yes, it was on the back. Yeah, I will so. I will say I do like the new dial design. I haven't seen enough people talk about that, where it's not on the white background anymore. It doesn't have the tiny, you know, the super tiny numbers where you're like, okay, is that click one, two, or three? Um, I do like the very bright 250, 125, 50 that's on there. I'm looking at Venom Thanos. Like, I like the style of the dial. The dial now takes up more room than it did before because you had the abilities off to the right, right? Like, the team abilities were on the right side of the dial before. I have a, the old card in front of me. So it's, it fits a little differently. I, I like the new dial itself. And, like, it's in a Hero Clicks base. Like, that's cool. Like, if I'm looking at it from a pure design standpoint as opposed to like a player that's trying to make it functional it looks pretty like i, I like that aspect of it yeah did you notice but... did you notice the keyword change the symbiote oh uh -huh. they're they're both a, oh the are they both italic no, no, no and family and celebrity symbiote was not a keyword right? before yeah now there's a new keyword i know but spider-man family he doesn't have code out. okay Spider-Man Family and Celebrity are both italicized, right? So there's literally no differentiation between a named and unnamed theme team now? Um, On the card, at least? Correct. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I did notice the symbiote thing. I, I just wish that they would have always done it symbiote. <laughs> like, they did the codex because it, like, fit in this. The story like, was coming out at the time, but nobody's ever... It, they're symbiotes. And right. I think they did it because... Um, 
with the new um, symbiote items that are going to be released. They're going to be free if you have the symbiote keyword, is my guess. Um, so maybe that's why they did it, but then it sucks for all the things before. So right. that is going to so, be annoying. So the, to me, like the car, it's this, right? Is that there's a front and a back to the card. If there's any information on the back of the card, somebody's always going to have to flip over the card. The only way that this is ever going to be any better is if they have foldable cards to where you can fold it out, stick it in a sleeve, so that way you're not going to um, need to flip over the cards constantly. Yeah, I was real. So to, because... to me, to me, like that, to me, like uh, I think it's like Alex, like you said, it's cool, it's pretty, it's well designed, it has neat little readability things. That's all cool. I, I'm okay with that. That's that's always neat improvement. But at the end of the day, you're not going to like take out an eternal like. Let me look at your card. Let me look at your card. Flip it over back and forth. Now, obviously, there's some tournament guidelines that says you're not supposed to take an excessive amount of time to do that, but. You know, you hear stories of people that like you needed to look at my card eight times that tournament or that game. I think the, it'll be nice it being able to lay out all the all that. the dials. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. You lay them up face up. Yeah, lay all the dials out, and it's like here we go. Here's the whole crew, and you have to turn it over. Obviously, like I was sad when you know TJ and clicked off. He he was talking about like oh yeah we could do sleeves, and it's like yeah sleeves. Yeah, I can't wait. And then I realized, well, no, we have powers on the back, so I still can't. Maybe for certain teams, I could do sleeves. Oh, um, you know what? But, you know, you know why they did it. What? To mess over Howard and his rock sleeves. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know if he even is really. I mean, he still has them, but I don't think they're. They had the uh, dial on the back opening yeah the little slot for it yeah, yeah they oh did slot. they yeah yeah mm -hmm. there well. we go i'm just kidding i'm obviously joking when i say that no um the other change for the cards i mean the spider-man change is listed here i don't think it's listed anywhere else we can talk about that right it's not uh it's wonder woman ta yep spider-man is you know wonder woman ta which again we've been <laughs> yeah, which, for like a year. Which we which which we've been hearing about on Facebook for about a year, right? It was or, or we don't know we don't know for sure if it was spoiled, but like people were guessing, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh it's a pretty good guess. Sounds like makes perfect sense, right? The only wild card they want is the wild card team ability, um, or the team player team ability. Spider Man family makes perfect sense to get this power, same with Wonder Woman. Um you can also get this Twice now, if you're able to get both team abilities, it's plus one for each, they would stack. Yeah, I mean, you can um, equip the bracelets, right? You can equip the bracelets, and then there's also that Spider-Man um, from Disney Plus that gives out Spider-Man team abilities. If right. you are not on a theme team, I believe, which I think you got some some improvements in this in this article. Yeah. So, like, you could, uh, you could give somebody plus two to their super senses, maybe like Iron Hammer or something. Or well, and then some like Spider-Mans already have a plus one. Right, yeah. So, so they, you know, there there are pretty easily instances where you're going to have a two through six super senses on your Spooderman. Yeah. I like and, the functionality. I miss the flavor that we used to, it used to have. Yeah, I mean, this kind of fits flavor too, just in a different way. Right, so uh, it's the uh, Play at Home kit or the Release Day LE Spider-Man, whichever one of those two. Uh, it's, yep. it's Perplex. When Spider-Man uses to target a friendly character that doesn't share a keyword until your next turn, Spider that character has a Spider-Man <laughs> team ability. He's also just... That figure's really good. He's overlooked, but he's really good. Well, he's got two stop clicks, so... And he... That's the one that makes... Is that the one that picks up Pogs or no? Uh, Yes. Yeah, and he so he gets like double perplex outwit prob. I think I think that's yeah. what those things do. So but, pretty good. So um, you know what? We also I, I did want to answer a question real quick huh? before um, uh, we we go too far. Uh, Lamar asked, "Will this kill hero clicks?" I don't. I don't. I don't believe everything so. kills hero clicks. Just ask anybody. <laughs> right? No, 
Um, this is not going to kill hero click. So I, I wanted to say, and I said this in our chat, there's enough exciting stuff in this article today to stave away my scaries about the lack of tournaments for a little bit, right? So, um, huh. it, it's, it staves it away for a little bit. Um, and by tournaments, I mean WKOs, states. Yeah. I know we're getting states, right? And I know Howard's pending with kids for states. I mean, that's we've seen that post. We, I, I know. But it's not here yet. We still don't have WKOs. Tournament. Yeah, actually, I mean, so I, that, we anyway, got Brad's I, coming up. We got a Rock Online coming up. We got PJ's coming up. We got, we got some uh, good on, on, Online play does not, We're not equal, counting that. does not equal in-person play. Absolutely not. I mean, it I, doesn't, but it's there. And I, and I even told Brad. I was like, Brad was like, no tournaments? And I'm like, Brad. Wait, there, Jay's doing an event, right? Is that what you, did Jay, you say? You Jay's, Jay? Jay's doing a Silver Age event. Jay Major is. Mm-hmm. And then, so there is. It's But it, the problem is that it's sporadic. It's it's not in a focused manner that builds. It's not a season, right, that builds towards national. And it's national not even all the same format. Right. Well. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't want. I didn't really want to like bitch about it too much because this staves away the scaries for a little bit. Um, Why not? I mean, I feel like if we don't get to bitch about stuff, we end up to talk about it anymore. Well, that's true. I, I just, we, I, we, I just didn't done. want. I just didn't want to specifically bitch about it too long today. The turn, <laughs> the tournament part of it. So, um. Hey, and, another thing we learned in this article. Is that WizKids uses Microsoft Teams? We learned that because if you hover over the cards, it says Microsoft Team Image number seventy-one and seventy-two. <laughs> That's funny. It was just ra- like I just left my cursor there. I was like, oh, I guess they use Microsoft Teams, and someone yeah. sent this over Teams to here's the images. Yeah, right click save. Yeah, the um. That's funny. Yeah, you know what? I my company uses Teams, and I realized I too. a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Uh, did you know you can communicate across companies with Teams? Really? Whoa. So I could send you a Teams message? <laughs> you could, apparently. I don't know if your organization has to, like, enable that. Um, yeah, that but, probably. But, uh, There's security issues in that. I'm yeah, sure they but, I, but I was in a meeting with someone outside of my company, um, and, like, I was able to, like, directly IM them, like, later. Which is scary. Well, a little scary. Yeah, so I mean, I guess y'all could IM me at, on my work email if you wanted to. Not that you don't have three other ways to get a hold of me. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so um, what do we, by the way, what do we think of the Spider Gwen, by the way? It's a common. It's a common, but you know right. what? I am, I'm always like a common, or any figure, right? Any figure's always pretty cool to me. Whenever they have improved movement characters, she's got sidestep, which yes. we've been talking is like somewhat of a. They lessened that in Batman, and then they just gave it to Spider Gwen. So. Ooh, so when Spider Gwen is given a move action, move after action, after so resol sure. after resolutions, you may give an action token to an opposing character that she moved through. That's neat. Um, neat is the right word for it. Yes, it is. I, I think she's. I think she's the solid common. Like she seems pretty complex. Yeah, leap common. free. Trait. Yeah, this does right. Yeah, leap climb free. Place this character in a square of different elevation within four squares of line of fire. Do you think that one's going to be a shared trait? Because it's called wall crawler. I'm wondering. I don't think it will be. It could be. That I don't know yeah. why. I mean, that seems fine for like you know the, uh, well the Spider Man fam, right? Like you know, Miles and Peter and Gwen and does it take the, a the bit of a of hit? Them. I know we're about to get to it. Does it take a bit of a hit with the change on movement and elevation? I feel like it kind of does. Um. Uh, well, maybe depends on the map. Like it's well, so like, like he, it's it's he, still good. Don't yeah, get me wrong. It it's is still, still good. good. It's just it doesn't. It's not as special now that everybody can. Well, that's true, but like think of it thematically at least, right? So, uh, I don't know, like let's say Spider Gwen visits Wondagore Mountain, right? She can sidestep up in elevation, 
you know, free. Well, sidestep and leap climb, do they? They don't work together uh, now, right? The no. problem is she can't. Yeah, she can't. Wait, do they? I don't no. remember. I, no, I think they do. I we're gonna somebody's gonna yell at us if we it's don't. At the, it's cares at the end. Leap climb. It's at the end of the comprehensive now, by the way. So don't forget they what changed. Is? Yeah, if we don't look at the pack and look it up, somebody's gonna be mad at us. Yeah, it what's well, it's in remember they put all the powers now in the comprehensive as well. Yeah, it is improved movement, elevated outdoor blocking. And yeah, so she can sidestep so she could sidestep up, right? And then she could free place up another one. Um and then you know, move. You know, is it just me? Um Yeah. I did not know <laughs> that's how leap climb works yeah leap climb got changed that away in 21 nobody just, knows how just, leap climb works. nobody no, but, ever uses it well that's my point is is it because i haven't noticed like no one's getting it as a trait maybe people do you just have probably yeah, you have cares about probably it. never you probably have not used leap climb in because i feel i feel like the ones that got it as well no because move move through is important too like improve movement move through um I don't know. I feel like there's it hasn't been dished out as a trait often before, to, where it's basically a pseudo. It's just improved movement that you could just outwit. So it's. I don't know. I, I'm just looking at it as why haven't they done this before? I feel like I would know that they have done this before, and maybe it's just they haven't had traded leap climb in a while, and it's I'm mostly not. just been printed. So that's neat. I mean, this is the first time I'm noticing it, and I look at dials all the time. So I feel like that's neat that they they're opting to go this route because it's like, yeah, that's how it should be used, right? Like, mm -hmm. give it as a trait, and that way, if you want to outwit her, so she can't do that, cool. But instead of just giving everyone the improved movement on the card, so like, why doesn't she have super senses? She, she does on a six. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't. I don't want that bullshit. Oh, we're going to give them Spider Man TA so they don't have actual super senses. I mean, that's I've like been with the Spider the Family without super senses before. That's kind of like what they do with the scrolls, right? Be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see that. No. Mm -mm. All right. All right. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. Knockback's back. Tell a friend. Knockback is a back. Uh, this one seems pretty popular. I feel like if you ask 90% of the Aeroclux community what was the worst change last time, they would say knockback be removed. So. so I think the big thing to remember is Pulse Wave is not full damage on a single target. Right, because that's how you used to deal with like stop clicks with no reducer. Right, pick Force Blast, pick Pulse Wave, delete the dial... Five damage, knock into a wall, KO. Right, so I think some of that's still there with knockback damage coming back, um, but you're going to have to get through, you know, reducers or shape change and super senses. Well, the yeah. benefit the benefit of pulse wave before was you got through all the knockback preventers like charge, combat reflexes, and all those are gone. No, that's like, true. Nothing. Nothing prevents knockback anymore, right? Like, I think... Um, can, besides size? Can, yeah, size. I was, um, sorry. Yeah, so, like, Pulse Wave... That was the benefit of Pulse Wave. It was like, ah, oh, you got charge and combat reflexes? Cool, I'll Pulse Wave you and you'll get knocked back. Now it's like, well, I can sneeze on you, and if I roll doubles, you're going to get knocked back. Yeah. So... That's a good change. But yeah, so uh, yep. with the expanded That's focus, it one. is, right? If a character knockback pass ends because the next square is blocking a map edge, a higher elevation, or because that character fell to a lower elevation, they are dealt one damage. Now, going to you lower elevation used to be two. Now it's just one. Yep. So keep that in mind. Um, this applies, the same applies to a character that's occupying elevated marker that's either destroyed or picked up from underneath their feet. Uh, which I think is super, super cool. That the fact that yeah. you know Hulk's going to be able to rip out the mountain and smash him with it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, this one's just a good change overall. I think everybody's very happy about that. It will, it will add a little bit more complexity back um, because knockback has always been weird with 
like when it happens and so we got to kind of relearn that also like which direction they're knocked back do you get a pick if it's on a diagonal slightly so i think people will need to be reintroduced to that but right it's not too bad right uh it will definitely win games for people again yeah, it's, I mean, it's another answer to stop clicks that we was used to be the answer to stop clicks. Right. Right. Yeah, and all the all the figures that also rely on rollouts, because there are still a few, quite a few of those that rely on super sensitive shape change. Yeah, most of the time, you have to hit them first to knock them back, but there are ways to do it without right. without rolling. Well, and keep in mind, like we still have uh, danger room constructs, so yep. like. That means Magneto's back in silver. You know who's really back in silver is that human torch that you choose the direction and he makes one blocking. So you could just throw out the one blocking and make him run into the blocking, right? Right. Isn't he modern? Yeah, he's modern, but he's about to rotate. Like there's no way he survives, so Sure, but But yes, I <laughs> yes, he's modern and he's going into silver, but like for 20 points just to be able to go out there and just dish one oh, free the, damage. The, the deep cuts one. Yeah. This, yeah. Very good. Right. Yeah. Can I share my favorite? Can I, I, can I share my my most um, uh, whatever my most glad use of knockback damage? Mm-hmm. So I just the story always comes to mind. It was the first event that I ever won and I was in top four and I was playing Tommy Lytle and um, I really had to go poo. Um, so Tommy's Jakeem was top dial. And so I chose, but he was up on elevated. So I chose Force Blast, Pulse Wave, and perplexed up my damage and attack just enough to where the knockback damage would knock him, would KO him. And I had like two probs on it, and I missed the first time, and I had a prob. Like I know, I think I had a prop twice to hit it, and uh, that that got me into the finals of my first event that I ever won. So that is very satisfying for you. I'm glad. Like three of the four things there, you can't do anymore. <laughs> Who per was the per perplex damage? That's one perplex damage, full damage, pulse wave, and also the pulse wave damage or the knockback damage is not shut off, shutting off powers still. So. Um, what does I don't know? Do we know if pulse wave knockback means you don't have powers? That's true. I kind of just assumed. Um, uh, where's the new pack? Well, it's, um, hold on. I don't know. Let's pull the it old up. pulse wave. It's, it's, you say. can't use powers or abilities for this action, so the knockback is still within the the action. Well, is it though? Because what's the knockback? It is. It's it's yeah. Within the term determine it's calculate damage. Deal damage, resolve knockback, yeah. resolve attack. Yeah, so there's okay, still yeah, resolve would... attack afterwards. Yeah, that part hasn't changed. Yeah. So yeah, you could you'll be able to get two damage off, possibly like, with the pulse wave. Who was the what wasn't there a like a knockback specialist that people used a few years ago, like particularly against like Q and a few other the Yeah, the Chase Cyclops. Cyclops, that's what it is. Thank you, Tyler. I was sitting there trying to think of him for a while. Who was it that was zipping around, knocking people back? Um, but yeah, so like, even if you only damage them for one, right? If you have, I don't know, let me reread knockback. I feel like I'm learning things new and I'm so excited. Uh, when this character hits, you may choose the to knock back all hit characters that took damage from the attack huh? a character is knocked back for eight squares right uh, for th up to three right that's what I'm trying to figure out I've got to zoom in uh, that's my understanding so what? you got to hit them what was the question? okay so you they still move up to th three right yeah, the pl they're placed a maximum of three or a specified number. Right. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. It's still up to three unless it very specifically says no, it's only this. Right. So you could do 
Wow. Okay. So what about that storm that just does that free force blast? There you go. So here's the wombo. Here, that have free, not here's the wombo. She chooses a direction. Yeah. Here's the wombo combo, guys. Uh oh. Are you ready? Mm hmm. You have running shot, pulse wave, super strength, force blast. You run up, you're running shot, you yank the elevation out from underneath of them, you pulse wave them for one, and then you blow them into a wall. That it's all legal. That that seems pretty awesome. That does. The fact that you just picked up terrain, right? Like I'm still I'm still getting over this terrain action. The, you know, picking up this terrain and stuff. I, I want to see it. I want to get my hands on the ter new terrain really badly. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I'm pumped. That seems like a very fun thing to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so that's universally loved. We we love knockback. Right. Um, all right. So um, after you, the change most competitive fans will be happiest to hear about is a rewrote of Rule Eight One Eight Point One H. The active player no longer has total control over the order of simultaneously triggers the order simultaneously triggers resolve in. Yay! Rather, the active player orders and resolves only their effects. Then their opponent orders and resolves their effects. If any new effects are triggered while the existing simultaneously triggers are being resolved, players simply take turn resolving everything they control, then letting the other player resolve everything they can until nothing is resolving. I'm so yep, yep. I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm kind of indifferent. I I don't I never thought that that was that big a deal. Um, it kind of made sense to me. And I don't know if this is going to complicate things. I think it'll just, we'll just have to see. It, it could be fine, and it'll be totally fine. But it might. there might be instances where it's like a little weird, where you keep having to go back and forth. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be the learning curve. But it's like structured, right? Going mm -hmm. back and forth, right, it is in a structured manner, right, where the player that is not their active turn gets to influence things that have been triggered off of their characters yeah so well it, in the order they want right in the order they want right so like the most powerful version of that is the soul sword in a flurry right so you know let's just say that it's a steel energy flurry right well mm -hmm. they they attack your mystics piece they flurry they steal energy they heal their two clicks well, now uh -huh. you get to decide whether or not they take the two damage from Mystics or the one damage first. So, if there's a stop click in play, if there's, um, you know, a click with Invincible, right, you can manipulate going back and forth. Now, that seems kind of niche, right? But, Jason, how many Soul Swords did you, did you and Zach have in play last week, right? Uh, like five. Uh, I, had four on, I had four on my team. Right. Uh, he had, I don't know, at least two. Yeah, he had at least two, right? So, um, yeah. you know, the Soul Sword's really powerful. The ability to trigger those effects second, right? So you get to trigger the Soul, the Mystic's effects second, right? After they've triggered all of theirs. So that's a new level of control for the player, the non-active player. Um, yeah. And then a new... I think it's just a, it's just a buff to Mystics in general, um, and a nerf to Steel Energy. If you have Steel Energy top down, and you hit a Mystics character, you now just take a damage instead of not, um, because your Steel Energy procs first, right? And then their Mystics will proc. It'll still work, obviously, if you're not on top click. It'll be the same thing, but or um, or before, or before, right? Like you could Steel Energy, heal up to Invincible, and then. Say yeah, works, take the that, take the mystics and then heal a second click, right? That's the, if you have flurrying, yeah. Right, I'm not, I'm just assuming flurries in play a lot of but times. That right, should have worked last time. That should have worked last rule set too, because you would just it does it did it energy, did. So but that. now but now you would steal energy twice, which might you know heal you up, you know, too far right to where you're taking more damage with a soul sword in play, right? 
Um, another big one is that you can now use Super Senses and Mastermind on the same character. Oh, that's um, so amazing. That Yeah, it does come up every once in a while, and it was annoying before they made you choose which one you are going to use first. So now you do get the rollout every time if you have both those powers. Alex, do you want to go ahead and say it? What? Gladiator? Yeah. Was that what you are going to? Yeah. I'm just thinking of my match against... All I can think about is my match against Isaac, where I wish this was in play because I would have got a, a chrono echo from Miss Kang, which I did not get before. So, because he had... He was able to come over, he activated... He had the tarot card that allowed him after resolution steal one to all adjacent. I probed him out of that. But because he was active player, he got to determine my after resolute my chrono echo came out first before he did the after oh, the one damage. Yeah, so he's like, "Here's the echo now, the one damage." It's like, well, that wouldn't happen this time. He would deal the one damage, then it's my after resolutions. Now I get the echo. Um, yeah. So like to me, it's like this is great. <laughs> like I, I'm happy about this because the I feel like it's kind of when it didn't work this way it. It wasn't exactly a gotcha, but it was like, it kind of felt like it a little bit where it's like, haha, like I planned it this way to where I knew you, I get to choose. It, it was a negative play. It was, a, it was a negative play experience, right? Yeah. Yep. Not only were you taking damage and doing all this other stuff, but now you don't even get to do the cool thing that you're, that the click that you paid for on your build gets to do, right? Yeah, I mean, it was built in as a safeguard to be like, okay, if she's going to get hit, at least I know I'll have this echo. And it's like, oh, well, yeah, the rules changed that. It shouldn't have happened that way. I mean, I, it, it should have been the rules, but it wouldn't have now. Right. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Um, mm -hmm. that it did, Me too. Have, you see, have, we seen any, so I say, have we seen anybody complain about this? Complain about this one? Not that I've seen. Okay. Seems... Not that I've seen. Okay. I mean, the biggest complaint, let's be real here, rip Dr. Thing. Right? Like, it says, does that work? It's for the well, no, it's for the beginning of game, too, right? Yeah, so, like, you could still use them if you want to leave them in, but... No, the no, no, no. Of... The... No, no, no. The... Um, a Dr. Thing selection is at the beginning... Or it's before beginning of game, by the way. So no right, but they right, but if it was if you were first player, you can make them do their swap skis before you did your swap swap skis, right? Yeah, no, that's that's the thing, right? So now even if you lose map, they are blocked because their stuff has to resolve first as player one, and then you get to resolve your stuff as player two. Right, but you can't choose as to go player one basically. If you're if you've got Doctor Thing and you want to do all that, you're like I can't go first because yeah. my stuff will resolve first. Yeah, but that all that's kind of a boost for Doctor Thing, right? So that means that the opponent has to make you go first, right? So it means you should get the ability to Alpha, mm -hmm. or you go second. Right, you choose to go second with Doctor Thing so that you are guaranteed to block their swaps, and you get to swap your thing. Or like, even if you lose the initiative roll and you go second, right, you still get to do all that. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, it's a little bit of a nerf, but not any more, you know, any more than it was before. I mean, he's about to retire anyway, so I mean, unfortunately, he's got a little bit left. Right. Um, anything to talk else to talk about in regards to? I don't think so. No. After after you. Nothing. Right. I can there is right, no. So now there is no I in theme team. We made two yeah, big so changes. This is the, the most. It's most controversial one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. So the first thing is, all theme teams will receive a plus three to the bonus to the role to determine first players, regardless of how many characters they have. Let's go OMAs. I never have said yep. that before ever, but um, now I just did. Yep. OMAs get plus three, which is pretty big for them. Right. Or plus twos get plus. You know, two characters get plus three, which is not as a little bit rare, but. Um, yep. So there's a lot less math involved. 
So th that change in and of itself, I am okay with because it was, well, you're a plus six and I'm a plus nine, so now I got a three. Oh, you're a plus seven and I'm a plus eight, so now I have a plus one over you. Yeah, um, just clunky. It was clunky, right? I, And I know, Tyler, you probably have a lot to say about this, but I think that change in particular, it, it streamlines things and... I, I I do like that change in and of itself. Yeah, I, I my thought was that, and I said this last episode, just get rid of initiative for it. I think that's fine because there's not, there's barely any uh, bonus to going first anyway. So just get rid of the initiative. Because um, what Alex said what last was true. Like you you shouldn't really get rewarded just because the keyword that you're building with has cheaper characters and that kind of made sense to me so yeah i thought just removing initiative uh, from theme teams would have been fine so right. I, I guess i'm okay with this i'm kind of indifferent yeah i just never really liked the concept of my only rub against this is the the one person like if you're by yourself, you're not a team. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why do you so, get a theme team bonus? Like, and it's it's literally just you're not a team. Like, if you're by yourself now, if it's you and you've got like, if it's like a super strong temple Batman and he's got like a tiny little Robin, okay, that's a team. Like, that's yeah. <laughs> they're teamed up. But like, just Thanos or whoever, right? Like Apocalypse, just like here I am. I'm a team. Like, I guess if you think of it of, like, a Battle Royale stance where it's like, I'm bringing my team in, I'm themed, because it's just me. Yep. Like, I get it. I don't I like it. I synergize but... with myself. Yeah. Well, Not a huge fan. But... That is interesting that you say that, because literally the, are the title of the section is There Is No I in Theme Team. Well, there is, because one character yeah. is a theme. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, it's a funny juxtaposition. Um, yeah. Secondly, we are eliminating theme team probability control. Oh no, Hero Clicks is gone. Oh no, it's dying. Oh, my probability control is gone. Well, I mean, it seems well, like a, a large kind of portion of the community is not happy with this. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like. I've um, seen heavily negative thoughts about this everywhere. Yeah, it's a. To me, this is the worst rules change they've made at least since they removed knockback but i think it's worse than that so i, I think mm -hmm. it's really bad two thumbs down for me. yeah oh, yeah for sure. for sure um we go over the reasons real quick that they listed and then we can talk about it uh yeah. sure yeah. yeah it's um so testing and tournament data reliably showed us that the majority of team team probability control uses were during the initial attack of the game in an attempt to either secure an early lead or prevent the opponent's uh, enhanced attack from landing. This meant that theme team probability control in practice overly advantaged aggressive alpha strike strategies so to disadvantage alpha strike strategies promote creative slow burn teams and preserve the overall health of the game, we made the difficult choice to cut theme team probability control. I cannot agree more with their reasoning behind that, um, and it'll it'll make for a much more uh, it it promotes more diverse team building, right? You have to look no, for no, you have to look for the characters with probability control, right? Before you could just build your whole team without prob because you had three of them to use. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to look for those pieces with the standard power probability control. Um, that seems like restricting you more. <laughs> That's a good point, Jason. No, yeah. you're, you're going to look at new characters. No, now you're forced to use those. You're forced to use those characters now. Yep. Maybe you didn't want to use those. Yep, but now you are forced. Now to you use have. Them. If you want to be prob, now you have to use them. Well, before That's you were just. Point. I don't know. That seems like it seems. You like... could build with any other figure that didn't have prob, which is much less restrictive than any figure that does have prob. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just really quickly, Bomb, before we move into the actual change. So the the whole almost theme a theme of this rule change is that WizKids hates Alpha Strike. That seems like the thing, right? Like I they mean, mentioned Alpha like three or four times. 20, Alpha Strike's been on for twenty years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, but we haven't had these tiny maps, right? Like 
Well, whose fault is that? I know, but I'm I'm just saying, like, it makes sense. They're like, yo, Alpha Strikes are about to be even more alpha e. Well, we could have not changed the map size. Well, we did. So yeah, yeah, we can't we can't change that. I I mean, I get it. I get the whole concept of you know, it, that theme team probs takes away the risk of hitting those snake eyes when you're sky tyroning someone across the map, right? For the first roll. If you roll a second one, that's on you. You roll poorly. But you roll over, you run over there. So, you. Yeah, you set everything up, you go over there, you roll snake eyes, you're like, ah, well, I got theme props, bam, and you're back into hitting. Well, if, you're, if the other team was a theme team, they had props. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. so that's my thing. It didn't really... It didn't specifically help theme teams in that sense. It it really just helped whoever the dice were already in favor of. So like, it, it, yeah. And what like tournament if, data are they basing this on? Did they did they sit down and write down when everybody used theme teams? Just, and well, just online. Just online. Yeah. yeah, I I agree. Yeah. I agree with what they said. It's normally used pretty much right away, right? If you want to get hit or don't want to get hit, if you want to hit or don't want to get hit, you're going to use it. Yeah. As soon as you can, because the first attack is the most important attack of the game. Um, but it, it really <laughs> having if you have a fifty-fifty roll and each player has three theme team probs, then it's it's basically neutral. Still a fifty-fifty. The theme teams equally help each other. But if you're rolling, let's say a thirteen on an eighteen into five, well, that's like a seventy-five, eighty percent chance to hit. So now your theme probs, your three probs, are, you know, three or four times as effective as your opponents because rolling a, a prob when the dice are in your favor is way more valuable. Um, because if you miss and you use a theme prob, you get you're basically getting another seventy five percent chance to hit. Whereas if you if you need a ten and you will use a theme prob, you're really only getting an extra twenty percent chance to hit. So. Um, that's how the dice work and then and then applying it to alpha alphas normally their their strategy is to pump up their attack but if you're if you're a defensive team it it would help you just as much if you have high defense so that's the whole spiel there um and also i i don't think that i don't i didn't think that alpha strike was like a a big negative thing I, I haven't really seen people complain about that a ton. Um, so you know, Alpha so. Strike is generally a negative play experience, right? Because, you know, if you lose map and you just sit there, right, because of first turn immunity, and then half your mm-hmm. force is wiped out turn two, that's a pretty quick game. Not really much interaction happening there. And I think I... The, the added the added thing was we we also have in the Alpha Strike field a lot of pieces that are just generally hard to kill yeah. it isn't just like i send everyone over like a bunch of riptides to go pulse wave it's more of i send a sky tyrant if he hits well he's hard to kill oh yeah. i can alpha sky uh Sarkarian iron man so i'm gonna go ahead. say again that i didn't think i have not seen i don't think any complaints about like alpha strike being overpowered um i think it's a negative play experience in that when your piece dies, it's a negative play experience, but that's not, it's not inherently worse than another. If somebody has a super defensive team that you can't hit and they have a bunch of rollouts, that's a negative play experience. It doesn't mean that you need to address it. Yeah, no, but, but game design addresses all of those powers and rollouts, right? So, outwit, so, Outwit's there, Leech is there, Scarlet Witch is there, Agatha, Cosmo, right? Game design has... Um, I feel like there are answers to has answered Alpha to Strike as well. What's the answer to Jubilee erasing all of your defensive stuff? No. Okay, it's okay. always back to Jubilee. Right. How does Jubilee at... erase all your defensive so, stuff? So take, so, a, take, take a drink, everybody. That's right. Take a drink. <laughs> when, right? when barriers are only defense. Yeah. When barrier <laughs> yeah. Ro- when barrier rolls uh, when uh, eliminates all of your barrier. Right. They uh-huh. then. Bring over a leech and a maggot, and take away all your powers and attack you. Right? This that, is getting oddly specific. It is right, but um, <laughs> that's that's the negative play experience you have, and then you're just you're just it's just, it's just over. 
right? Okay. But now there, think... but now you can choose map. You know, you have an advantage it... to either go first or choose map. And now there's not all okay. these probability controls on the Dude, alpha it... strike. Do you so, agree with me when it seems like this is coming out of left field and that the community has not been complaining about this? I Again, I have not seen anyone complain about Alpha Strike Team. It's, it's the same thing I said when they had the watch list, right? Why wasn't Venom Magneto on there? Because everyone was playing Venom Magneto. No one wanted him nerfed because he, he made everyone be able to Alpha Strike. So there's a lot of teams that wants the alpha strike for the past two years we've all been saying how do, can you get across the map in a turn if not the team may not be that great unless it has high defense and stuff so yeah unless no one's complaining no one's complaining because everyone wants to al alpha strike the problem is is now with what? the map smaller but what were the two most complained about figures this year neither of them were alpha strike pieces i mean isaac's team and the champion clicks was alpha strike yeah, it could be. It also had a defensive version to, to protect against Alpha Strike. So right, but he, 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 said, he said... Well, what he said Tyler's he, saying... Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Tyler's saying the stuff people bitched about all year were not Alpha Strike pieces. It just it seems like it's coming out of left field, and it seems like it's a big, heavy focus in the rules change, which seems weird. To me. It, it doesn't if you think about the fact that maps are getting smaller. Like, that's the... Yeah. It, once again, well, once again, if maps well, weren't getting smaller, that's, that's neither that's, of their listed reasons are none of that. Their reasons are, hey, Alpha Strike has been strong so, in the past tournaments that we're looking at, and we're changing it because of that. So if you look at the, if you look at all the winning teams, right? Hmm. All of the winning teams can get across the map and attack and negate any form of a defense. And prop themselves with theme team props. Correct. Because these were not non themes. Except, I guess, Worlds was a non theme. But, but I mean, Isaacs was in second place, right? So it was right there. Yeah, so I don't. And Jason, think that... Jason's defensive team mm -hmm. lost to the Alpha Strike Erasure Powers team. Erasure Powers it yeah. is right but, now it didn't have prob it didn't have theme team probs obviously i get that but like it had the alpha component a team winning does not make it a problematic team um so look, i don't look, think that look, that's a what, good what does that what with, does? whiz kids obviously disagree. negative play experience that is a negative play experience all of that it, generally a winning team has some version of a negative play experience element that needs no, to be looked at <sighs> A negative play experience needs to be addressed. So again, losing a figure at any point in any game is a negative play experience. You don't want to lose a figure. But the but how, yeah. the how, and why you lost that figure is the negative play experience. Correct. This, and again, the, the normal, I don't the, see the, the anybody, norm, the, nobody is complaining about this aspect of the game. I, I have not, unless you have an example. But that's the thing. How do you measure negative play experience? Because we hear people complain about stupid stuff so how do you sift through and say oh yeah this is a legitimate one like i think people just get numb to complaints and they're just like um like, i think like i had a negative if i wanted to say negative play experience not just losing figures i played against caleb's team negative play experience not him it's just the the green lantern double sad nine all I am attacking you with is a Flash and a Sarkarian Iron Man, and that's it. I don't have to attack with anything else. Negative play experience, because it's like, this is not a back and forth. This is just, I gotta hope I hit a 12 multiple times, so you, yeah. I can't get through. Not on okay, Caleb, that's just how the team is. Same with against Isaac. It's like, if I, you know, if he wins map with that team, He's able to alpha you if you he could get around almost anything you throw up because he's got so many free TKs. Like, yeah, it was a negative experience because I got to do nothing. I didn't play. I ran because I only had like Emperor Gladiator left. So it felt like a negative play experience. But I get what you're saying, Tyler. It's just we haven't heard a lot of complaints. And I think that's just a lot of people also play Alpha Strike. Who's going to complain about their own team? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with what Tyler's saying. They, this is supposed to be real. All this stems because they wanted to shrink the footprint of the game. That's where um, it all stems from. 
There, it all it's all they're making the map smaller, so we reduce the power ranges. We now Alpha Strike's a problem because we got a smaller map, so now we got to rein it in. It it, it 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 all comes from that. So I disagree with that because I do like the other. I like the 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 smaller. No, I think it's a better. I think I didn't, it, I didn't, I think it I, didn't be I didn't say it wasn't better. I've said that's why the changes are happening. Now I'm he's not. Gonna, I'm not now sure. He, now he's not going to agree with you, Tyler, because you. <laughs> what, you're well, like it, I disagree it, with you. Well, fine, I take back what okay. I said. All right, so I'm, just, I'm, not say, I'm not saying that the, the smaller map isn't maybe more fun or better to play on. I'm, I'm, I am in my mind up on that. I'm just saying okay. so that's we've what discussed, set all this off. That's true. We haven't we haven't discussed okay. um, we're, whether we're this is good. Here we go. We're, all we've done is discuss whether the reason that they stated is a good reason. Um, no. I was Dan and Alex disagree. I don't agree. Jason doesn't agree because I, again, I don't think that Alpha Strike. So needed a nerf. So hold on. So then let's then let me ask this question. Do you agree uh-huh. that theme team probability control should have went away regardless of the reason? Well, regardless of the re- so I don't I don't think it should have. I think okay. the team team probability control. That's fine. So um, Jason, do you think it should have went away? No. Okay. Alex, do you think it should have went away? Um it's a yes and no. I would have, I would have allowed it to go away for generic theme teams. So, I, I, I did like having theme team probability control, right? So if you just told me we're getting rid of theme team probability control with no explanation, I would have been against that. But, so that's that's the answer to the first part of the question, right? So the whole discussion for the past twenty minutes have been. Do we agree with their reasoning, right? I now that they've shown, now that they did that nice little paragraph with that explanation, I'm all for it. Goodbye, theme team probability control. Let's let's advance to the okay. to to the new the new version of Hero Clicks without it. Maybe they'll revisit okay. it in a couple of years. Remember, the last rules change was just 21, and now it's 23. Which is so, another problem in and of itself. But, that yeah. that is, I I tend to agree with that. I, I think they could have just left it alone too. Okay, right? but just real quick, you agree with the state of reason, but again, I don't think that removing theme team probs is specifically detrimental to Alpha Strike. It's detrimental to things with high attacks. So, like this is why Dan, you wanted, you needed theme team with Thanos because things with high attack. Have benefit more from team team props but then, because the but props then I, are more valuable. But then I made top four of nationals with an unthemed version of Thanos. Okay, so the re- you agree that team team prop was good with Thanos, right? I do, but here's what I think about it. Right? Um, what's the uh, what's the anime that you like where the the guy drops his weights? Naruto. Naruto. Right. So now I feel like with theme team probability control gone. Right? Like, I'm not trying to build theme to get probs. Okay, so now we're now we're past the reasons and we're doing... Okay. Theme teams are worthless now. They're, it, it, like, really, really, really irrelevant. But, like, no, if, but if, they if, aren't. No, no, stop, 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 stop. They are. If I build a really, really strong unthemed team, right? Like, a, just the best pieces I can that do the things I want to do, okay? Yep. Let's say that that team has a 50% win rate. Now let's say I can magically snap my fingers and it is a theme team. That team maybe gets like one percent better win rate, and that's it. So uh, the maybe. the difference is, and this is what I expect. I would like to have WizKids confirm this, but now what I think they, what I think we'll be seeing, is a lot more keyword based boosts. Right. Don't forget, leadership still exists. Mastermind still exists. Those are keyword team up cards. Team, team up, up cards. Team up cards. We've had some really powerful team up cards still already since yeah. twenty twenty. Well, uh, no, we haven't. No one's ever used a team up card in competitive play outside of like a Mazo and maybe like one other thing. It, they've mm-hmm. been ass. They've been the worst mechanic that here that WizKids has added to the game in the last five years. Nobody. Yeah, else. Let's, yeah, let's use a card that doesn't come with the figure you get to you play it with. But there's yeah. there's one reason why that's the case. 
and it's because they of the all clause. sucked ass. No, it's because <laughs> of the cl- no, it's because of the clause. You can't have characters with the same name on your force. If they took that off of the card, because it doesn't stop That's anything, problem. you take that off, it is played significantly more. One hundred percent. I can't it's play it on any more. Just be not because it's good, but because it's free and it doesn't cost you anything. No, they they are good. It's just is the co- is the cost of not playing right two so, of this, restrictions two of are that. Bad. Yeah. The restrictions are too bad. They need to just take the restrictions away. It's, so it's that's not a, helping. That, that's I don't a very think that many low. Really, that's really a very good. low cost because there have been a lot of good winning teams that don't have duplicates, and literally nobody has used a theme team card. They've been unheard of. I mean, so right, okay. <laughs> but so now what I think where the theme team comes into play is going to be those characters that have really good keyword based benefits, and you're going to focus... keyword based benefits. You don't need a theme team, you just need like one or two figures that have that keyword. Well, maybe there'll be a whole team of those that have come out. I have a feeling there will be. <laughs> there might be like the the mystery gang have stuff like right. that right now. The mystery gang is a good <laughs> example of that, right? You can just uh, I play I, I played all are there six of them, five of them. How many mm-hmm. of them is there? Six. I think five. Whatever. Five well, like scrappy. scrappy. Yeah. Yeah. So I played all five of them together on a three hundred point team, and with the clue the clue thingies, and mm-hmm. they wrecked they wrecked all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. Am, am I okay. think? Am but I what's the, the mystery cards? Right, I was adding the yeah. I was I was adding the clue Hello. tokens, and then you know they were getting plus one defense and attack and damage and speed and you know fucking one of them was charging in. Uh, Shaggy was charging in, punching somebody for six damage. That sounds like a lot of casual fun. Okay, but uh, another thing, a it caveat. Was. There's one caveat I want to add into this mm-hmm. is that remember we didn't. So the story of team up cards. Let's not forget this. We got a ton in House of X. Uh huh. Then we did not see them again for almost an entire year. Mm-hmm. It went through three sets, three or four set, four sets. It, we didn't get any of Future Foundation, Wonder Woman eighty, Wasn't Rise and Fall. Like Unlimited, the first ones. Yeah, well, I, I'm talking modern. Um, okay. Yeah, Justice Justice League Unlimited had the first ones. House of X had a ton. We got some in the storyline of Fantastic Four, and then we got them back in Avengers and Batman. Like, so it hasn't been every set. We're just now getting them every set in the Legacy cards, right? Legacy card, team up card. That's usually what's been. That's what's uh-huh. happened in the past couple sets. So we went. The reason why another reason why team up hasn't been great is because we just didn't have a lot. To be honest, I mean uh-huh. we haven't. Well, we had 160 in Justice League Unlimited. <laughs> Well, but they were a lot different back then mm-hmm. as well. Like, and they were new. It was literally the first time they did it, right? So there was not been a lot of time for you. Just okay. It's possible that they focus on them more in the future and they do better. You cannot convince me that team up cards are trash. They've been trash. Nobody plays them for a reason. They're not good. Um, there's been a couple that have been. Oh, that's interesting. We might look at that, but nobody's ever played them. It I is think it's not about repl- reasons, though. It is not a replacement for theme tar- for theme teams. Okay, I think right it now could, though. Is yeah. it do you why? Think why do you want it to be? Well, I I equate team ups to back to like a bad version of the old ATAs. Like it okay. instead it re- which I love ATAs, I miss okay. ATAs. It allows you to play you have to play the problem is you have to play that one figure, right? But still gives your team extra bonuses. I like that where it's like I am, I am uh, okay. given benefits for playing this specific type of team, which is what theme teams okay. were, right? I don't, so I don't with disagree that. with that. I don't disagree with that. No, I don't think they have to be required. Like I don't mind that. It's like if this is an added thing, they're now saying, "Hey, we're going to put a little bit more power in the team up cards because we want this to be how you make theme teams." You want to make theme teams not just because you get the free prob and you want to build a plus eight theme to go. Okay. No, we we want you to want to build these specific theme teams to play these type of cards. But well, they have to make them better. I agree, Tyler. I just, they have to make the cards way better. 
I just don't want if that's that that's all works, that's cool. I just don't want it to be a separate card I have to go track down that doesn't come with the figure that it goes to. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> this I'm gonna speak strongly. This change sucks. This is the one of the worst changes I've ever seen. It's probably the worst change I've ever seen them make. Um I personally love theme teams. It was a big part it was a reason why the the Hero Clicks is so fun to me is building a theme team. It's looking at the keywords. Whenever a figure comes out, oh, I'm going to look at the keywords, see who they fit with, see who who is good now because they have this keyword that was a bit obscure before. Um, thematically, it's great, right? You want to... Justice League is good now because these figures got released, and now we can look back and see all these Justice League figures. It's a really fun mechanic and, in the game. And mm-hmm. nothing in your Justice League team that you've been working on is absolutely mm-hmm. still just as powerful as it was before. Is you it? cannot it possibly say anymore. it's just as powerful. From it may not have theme teams were nerfed. Um, there's there's no reason before the whole point of theme teams. The the whole th- game mechanic was I'm going to play things that are slightly subopt. So maybe I'll reach for a TK piece that's less powerful because it has this this keyword. Because then I get a I'll sacrifice a little bit on the figure that I'm using to gain an advantage. To, for playing a theme team. That was the fun part of it, right? You Again, you reach for characters that you don't normally reach for or wouldn't normally reach for. Um, so as an example, you're never reaching for Commissioner Gordo anymore. You, you, if, you need a, if you need a TK piece, you're reaching for Venom Magneto because there's really, there's, there's almost no advantage to building a theme team. I feel like, it feels like if you're building a theme team right now, you're doing it wrong. You don't gain enough to to not play Venom Magneto. Um, that, mm-hmm. I, I, w- I would I would add the caveat to your statement because I mm-hmm. somewhat agree. Mm-hmm. In two years, there there will be no reason. With having large maps, small maps, there is still a small reason why you would want that plus three because maybe you don't want to go on one of the small maps. Maybe you want to stay on one of the bigger maps. There are still benefits to that. It, regardless of the chances... I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, as of right now, there's still some benefits to what you're saying. But Obviously, to... there are some benefits. I'm saying the benefits are so small that it's not worth sacrificing. Yeah, because... I'm, I'm saying for these two years, it's it's higher because of the, the map differences. If that wasn't there... So, and, I, I, think, agree, and, I, think at, and I think at the end of the two years, I am extremely hopeful that we will have keyword based effects that are so powerful that you will be wanting to build theme again i you i mean we you can just say that without any reason and that's fine <laughs> they, they've never they haven't stated that um no i get it team team up cards have been have been shit they are still there's like two that might be worth something in the new set but we've been saying that for that's but, years, so. are, are those keyword based effects gonna have to be activated only on a theme team? Because if no, they're, they're not, then then if they're not, then you don't really have to build a theme team to use them. And you won't. Yeah. You'll build like depending like what you need. Avengers, and, and then and then yeah, you're the best support pieces in the game. Right now, what is there? Is it a better from a game to, game balancing standpoint to have less power in the theme team general general rule of here's how oh. theme teams work? And have more of the power in team up cards, individual figures, like the way you build out sets to say, okay, with Avengers now we want to buff Avenger theme team, so we're adding more Avenger figures that work together as only a theme team, whether that's team up or whatever, like a special trait, whatever. Is that better for game design and game balancing purposes as opposed to having a core rule where there's a lot more power in having team ups? It's uh, hard uh, having theme teams, I should say. Yeah, it's hard to say if it's better or worse. Um, it probably, if you can do it perfectly, it's better. But with like there being like 500 modern figures at a time, mm-hmm. it seems very hard to do that correctly. And yeah. I think that a big overall thing is better. And I do think if you're playing a theme team, you should get an advantage because that's kind of what the whole game's built around for. A while since they added keywords it was a whole thing um now if they want to say hey 
we don't like the way that theme team probability controls are playing out right they're using them right away it's affecting they say alpha strikes i say characters with that already have sad advantages but either way if they think that's a bad thing then they can change that and give them another maybe a different i don't know what you would give but some other advantage but right now it's just it is absolutely not worth building a theme team and that absolutely sucks for the game for me team building was the best part of the game um for me and so, so what, it, this whatever so, this limits team building like no this this a lot i think I, so i'm just the exact opposite right this is a fundamental shift in how teams are built this opens up even more figures to need that can be played um because you're going to have Ow. to you're going to have to look for that printed prob there's going to be a, a new mix of yeah but if you find the art. best printed prob figure that's the one you're using that because there's no other consideration you don't care about if it fits on your theme team or not you're just finding hey Depending i need a prob the piece if you're forced to use the printed prob figures you're inherently kicking other figures out because they don't have it yeah yeah i i actually agree. i kind of agree with you too Dan, because it it is kind of weird that it's like, hey, if if we were if it wasn't if it was theme team outwits instead, or if it theme team perplexes, right? In this case, we've been getting three free probs every game, just because we made a theme team. So there have been plenty of teams I built that's like, I don't have any prob, I'm just going to rely on these three. That's right. I don't think I agree with that. I feel like most teams still have printed prob, but. Um, there, if I... there have definitely been times that I played suboptimal pieces yeah. to try to win well, map and to try to and to get the probs. Well, yeah, that is the entire point of theme teams. It makes you reach for what would be suboptimal pieces that you wouldn't normally reach for to to get the advantages of a theme team. But that's, that's in, but in the place of those suboptimal pieces. I could have played four or five or six or seven other pieces. Yeah, now you are just you don't care about playing suboptimal things to get advantage. So what you're going to do is you're you're going to there will be like I can consider I, I might, said, so instead of playing the one piece that I was pigeonholed into using, I can now not. I can now I can now consider five to seven other pieces. No, what what's happening? I could be speaking hyperbole here. I probably am, but like in unthemed teams, there's not been, there hasn't historically been a ton of variety. There's been like maybe twenty pieces that are just like the best value pieces in in the game. And on an unthemed good stuff team, you're just you're just picking, you know, five to eight of those pieces, and you're putting them on a team. That's what seems like is going to happen. You're not going to get diversity because there are pieces that are the best point for point pieces. And the reason that people built away from that before is because there was a large advantage to playing a theme team and, and to playing these these less optimal but still good pieces that fit on the theme that you were building. Now you don't have that, so there's no reason to stray out of the 20 best pieces in modern and look for something else. Like, again... If I if I'm like if I'm building a team and I'm like man, I need TK. What am I gonna use? Well, there's there's one piece that is the best TK piece in the game, and there's no incentive now for me to look anywhere else except for that one piece. Maybe with points, you know, maybe you'll reach to like the second or even in extreme cases the third piece, or maybe your team already has TK because of something else. But if you need TK on a build, you're reaching for Venom Magneto. It, like you just are. It, there's yeah, no reason I, to play a suboptimal piece. Though. There's no reason to reach out of that twenty best figures in the game. I I just I just see. Do you disagree with that? I, I do disagree with you, Tyler. I, well, I what what's your reason to reach for a piece that is not in the in the top twenty pieces in Hero Clicks? What's your reason to do that now? I think you get a lot more pieces that are in that top twenty. I think you now go from a top twenty to a top forty, right? Why? Where where things are not just. It's not the twenty-first best piece. It is. They're all tied in the top twenty. Why? Because what, you're not. What, you're not what, pigeonholing them to try to go for a plus eight, go for a plus ten, 
right? Unpigeonholing them. How do, how does that make them somehow better than they were? How does that make them fit? Like, what piece are you reaching for now that you weren't before? Because so you like so just for example, like three Saturnines, right? Mm-hmm. Um, now you don't you're not trying to get them in on their theme team, right? So you can get the probs with it, right? Now you can just play three Saturnines with good prob pieces. Saturnine's probably one of the top ten pieces, though, or top <laughs> yeah. whatever pieces, though. Like, I don't know, but you're not pigeonholing them trying to fit it so, in with ruler or mystical. Will, what does, how does that affect oh, Saturnine? You're going to play her either way. Mm-hmm. I, I think, okay, I think uh, r- real quick, I think my thought on this is I feel like, Tyler, you kind of said this. I feel like there should be a benefit to the theme team, but it really doesn't need to be built around a power. Mm-hmm. I think the fact that it's we get three three free probs with theme teams, which you could say, you know, we, the cost is you build in a theme team, whatever. That that means now I don't have to build with that type of figure anymore. I don't have to. Uh, sure, I might think about it, but if I'm sitting there thinking, well, I got three probs, I might prefer per- Perplex now then that really takes away from the value of props if I'm building a theme team. Sure, you might still want a prop piece. So I, I think if they were to introduce some other benefit to theme team that isn't tied to a power and maybe a value, right? Like it, not a, a flat, like plus one defense or something. Like if there was something inherently they could add, I think that would be beneficial. So that way it's like, oh, you still have to build around, oh, does my team have perplex, prop, all of that. But if I have a theme team, I have this added benefit. The problem is I can't think of anything. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I would be okay with that. It is hard when you put those restrictions on it. I, I think that theme teams are fine, and they're even thematic, right? Like, if, you, if, you, if you're on a team with people that you've done things with before, the, the, the thematic part is you're going to work better, things are going to work out more. So the theme team props kind of made sense. Um it's similar to there was a Batman that had like a prep time thing where if he didn't have uh, action tokens, he got prob. So I, I always equated it kind of similar to that where like you just sort of work together better. It's planned out. So I think it's fine. I don't think there's a problem with it. I do think that people still largely use prob a lot just because it's still a great power. You still want it throughout the game. Um, so obviously I agree that there has probably been a slight hit to prob pieces i think it's pretty minor because again i do think people um have used it before and i'll i'm gonna <laughs> extend an olive branch to dan i in general i think this is a bad change and it will i think drastically reduce the um diversity of teams but there is a, a small situation where it will increase it and that's if there's a really good figure that has shit keywords they were not probably played as much um and that those pieces there might be like one or two of those that now fit into the top i don't think it increases it by 40 but maybe now there's 22 instead of 20 pieces in the top um so there is a a case where you will now use a figure that you didn't before i just don't think it it's vastly outweighed by the the limitations that this puts I also wouldn't have minded if they brought back limitation the theme team props. Remember, because they did away with that to where yeah, if if it's dictated as a theme team, everyone's a theme team. So your bystanders, whoever, your little constructs could use prop, or theme team props. I would have been probably okay if they're like, hey, you have to have the printed keyword. Like Avengers are only gonna, you gotta you gotta be an Avenger. Like it isn't it doesn't count if someone gives you Avengers. Because that would have yeah. curtailed that would have curtailed some of the alpha strikey ones, right? Like yeah. Sky Ty- like Sky Tyrant Secret Six, still a thing, but Sky mm-hmm. Tyrant on X Men. Yeah, thing. I agree with that, and I do like I, I'm fine if they if they wanted to nerf theme teams a little bit because normally like theme teams are most of the meta right now, right? It's 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 largely because it's so they made it so easy to make a theme team with all the keyword cheaters and stuff. It's so easy to do now um, that it's possible that e- either they scale back how easy it is to reduce, which it, or to to make, which it doesn't seem like they're going to do, um, or they they nerf it somehow. So I would have been okay with a small nerf, but this is just too big. Uh, 
this change along with the change for maps where it's it's almost <laughs> it's almost even if you win or lose map um it because it, there's just cases where you don't know which one's better so at that point it's just an even even thing it doesn't even matter if you win um that it, it's just it's there is so little incentive to build team teams now it's and that sucks so I, I can agree with what you say there, right? But what I see in totality is a fundamental shift in study of maps, knowing what maps are out there, what those look like, being able to make those have to make those decisions on the fly, the shift in team building, the opening up of new pieces. Like I was just looking through some of those shit keyword pieces. And I was like, oh yeah, Fabian Cortez. That guy is, was had terrible keywords. Does he have X-Men? I don't no, know. No, he's like Acolytes and stuff. Oh, right? Yeah, okay, he's like okay. the not good one. Um, he, he does ha- he does have X-Men. But um, I'm not <laughs> saying that like, oh, he, Fabian Cortez. Like I was just kind of looking through while you were while you sure, were going through sure. your You need to find there. better support for your point there. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fabian Cortez, for Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's actually pretty good, but um, yeah, so yeah, 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 okay. Once, once the, okay. All, like, no, no, this is a great out. point. The <laughs> only way you are ever going to use Fabian Cortez is if he fit on your theme team. That's the only way he's ever getting played. Maybe not. Um, uh, so maybe not. But at any rate, um, I, I just see it. Uh, I personally see it as a land of new opportunity, a shift in thinking fresh ideas being brought to the table and change is scary and I get that and your team here at Clicks Off will be uh, leading y'all through that change on the podcast here and uh-huh. I'm okay yeah, with like it. When, I'm good yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm Gucci yeah like when teams change from swap which is now harder to do because of Right. What a toe, what toe a the sideline. What a great segue. The sideline. <laughs> so uh, you can also check out the sideline of great figures offered in Oxit. Check the link in bio to join. Uh, the Hero Clicks Cafe has lots of great auctions hosted by Lucky Dice, and they host their own. Lots of ways to great pick up pick up good figures at a great deal. Check out Oxit link in bio to join. Um, and you know what? I'm not sidelining. Grandma's chocolate brownie cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I still want a, a major. I want to be the first elite, first majorly sponsored Hero Clicks podcast. That would be so exciting. Yeah, that's that's my goal. I I don't care whatever sponsorships we have. Give me Grandma's cookies. Like, I mean, we take anything, right? Like hymns. Like, could be a sponsor. That could be. They could become a sponsor. Yeah, um, but no, I'm working on this grandma one, okay? So a- Athletic Greens. I'm, I'm, down, I'm down for the cookies. I mean, we, we should be good cookies, close persons. Right. <laughs> I'm really glad that none of y'all know what hymns is. I do. It's, it's I do. Uh, oh. <laughs> y'all just didn't want to admit it. the commercials or whatnot. Right. Uh, wasn't it? Wasn't there? Was that the one with the the Snoop Dogg commercial at one point? Probably. Um, where he's like, I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need this, but you probably do. Like he said that in the commercial. I'm like, okay, dude. Like, all right, that's have you, a little uh, intense. Have you, have you ever wanted to be rock hard while playing Hero Clicks? Hey, but you know, smaller maps is more room for the grandma cookies on the sideline. That's um, true. That's um, so uh, we're down from from a 300 point game. It's two per 100, so we're down from nine to six in a 300 point game. Rip silver. Yeah, well, silver. They got rid of the ID cards, so eat those. Yeah, some, but like eat those some bitches out there. So here, there goes the trouble alert market. It's like you can only, uh, you really realistically only playing like three now, probably. Like half your sideline is going to be trouble alerts. Uh, it just depends, right? I mean, there's no need yeah. for uh, ID cards anymore, so a lot of teams can still just run six. I mean, well, five probably with the Destroyer. Yeah, but you got Destroyer. You've got a lot of other sideline active things that are still around. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, uh, like, dependent on teams. Scrap, scrappy, Scrappy-Doo. 
Yeah, so I mean, definitely like, not scroll spies. Objects. <laughs> scroll spies. Definitely not that. <laughs> They're good. They're still good. I'm I so... think scroll spies might be might go down in history as the most played sideline piece to never see the map. <laughs> it's hard to remember, dude. <laughs> It's like um, I've seen well, so no, Tyler. Many Tyler, sheets. your your oh. Spider-Man family team can no longer copy the Scrolls TA. Oh, that's true. That is oh, sad. Yeah. That's that's the end of that team. That's what did it. Yeah. Um, I I think it's fine. I nine always kind of felt excessive to me. It was annoying. I I'm okay with six. I I don't think that's fine. It just it to me it just shows that we're not getting a ton more sign light active pieces or maybe we are and they're really wanting us to choose as opposed to just all right always putting trouble alerts always putting destroyer like what did now... we get in this set was it just scrappy uh that's uh, i think they're the red <laughs> the raven was another yeah, one the oh, red, yeah, red x red x or whatever yeah oh and red the all the all the uh cards the mystery cards Two oh cards. yeah those are sideline that's a big deal yeah, yeah. those if you're playing detective well if you're playing a detective piece. Oh, uh, 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 now Tyler's like, wait, hold on. Here's a reason no, you, to play theme. No, I had to correct myself because you're never playing detective now. You're playing detective pieces with the powers. That's probably fair. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, Venom Mags effectively deploys, super deploys um, World's Literally Finest. every team. Right. <laughs> um, this change is pretty big for Mad Jim. Yeah, it's big for Mad Jim. It's bad. It's big for Swap. Um, it's big for teams that had Mad Jim and Swap. Um, yeah. <laughs> like for Avengers, I don't feel great. Now, my most recent Swap wasn't that big. Like, I think I had extra pieces just for very, very yeah. rare scenarios. I think it so, affects it's... Avengers a little bit less just because <laughs> there are less good Avengers pieces to Swap to. So you're not yeah. losing as much. But to your point, Tyler, like I don't have to build Avengers. I right. mean, if, but I probably will with team ups. I mean, I assume, are we getting team ups in the next the Avengers sixty? I feel like that was on uh, the list. I don't know, probably because we're not getting anything else in the set. So I feel like Avengers sixty was like, hey, we got yeah, ten team up cards, fourteen legacy. That's right. So we're getting some of those, but the it's going to be villain team up cards. Oh, that's so, fun. Yeah, take advantage of new team-up cards like we've never seen before. Uh-huh. I hope so. Um, um, I don't know. So, um, whether this was a benefit or not, I don't... I don't really... I don't know if I felt like this was necessary. I guess maybe it just... Smaller maps means, you know, smaller spaces at the table, so you're not taking up as much room with your nine-figure sideline. You know uh, what? That I mean, is true. Yeah. Because so I had been talking to Jeremiah about making a massive like folding tray so that I could hold wow. like, you know, my nine figure theme team and my nine figure sideline and my tarot cards and my character cards and my dice and tokens. But now that's all sorry, small. Jeremiah. It's all sorry, Jeremiah, I don't I don't need that anymore. Because <laughs> um, no. it's all no smaller. Refunds. <laughs> no, I we didn't. We are. We had just talked about it. I hadn't done any orders or anything. <laughs> Have you looked into watch boxes? They're pretty. They're pretty great. I, I like to carry mine on a tray, Tyler. Okay. I hate that. I always feel like I'm going to drop it. That, I'm not... <laughs> that's that's the fear, right? You got to be able to get you, you going. You got to be able to yeah. harness that fear and channel it. <laughs> Have having seen Tyler's watch box in person, it is pretty nice. Yeah, it is, I yeah, yeah. Tyler's watch box is nice. Um, so, but that's I a good point. We're shrinking down sidelines, shrinking down theme team or theme teams. So now we don't have as many figures out there to take up space either. That's right. Yeah, where you play that awkward game of okay, is the map going a little bit like to the right? Mm -hmm. Like, am I going on this side? Where am I going? Up oh, here's your backpack. Move it out of the way so I can put my box down. Yeah. You know it what? All, it all just fits that smaller shrink in the game. You know what? Yeah. I just realized this one. Smaller maps, smaller, smaller maps will make it easier to video. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Get a better close up. Get a better close up, which means that the camera will be closer, which means inherently the mic is closer, which means the audio is better too. Mm -hmm. Assuming we get to have in person play. 
you wow. know what? I mean, let's I not. Have we're, 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 like. we're not going to have that many scaries, Jason. Just we're, we're leaving that scary away for today. But look, let's be let's be real, Daniel. Don't sugarcoat shit. I know, I know. I just just for today, I'm just trying to not have the scary of the no in person play, Jason. Just for today. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm going to play the grumpy old man card. Like I feel I like you two are the main ones that are going on about no in person play. Like I feel like. In we're person play for you, and we're getting uh, Kilt the Classic recent or new, and then we're also getting NASA Worlds this year. I no, think I, okay, least... okay, you're right. So it's better than last year. That is better than yeah. last year. I agree, but I just Kilt the Classic. I just want we want a consistent in play in person tournament scene. That's what we want. We're That's not right. satisfied with anything else. That's right. Yeah. So Jay's thing is so in, were, Jay's yeah. thing is in March. PJ's thing oh. is in May. Um, you know, and I want it to all be one format. I want I want a consistent 300 modern tournament format in person. That's what I, I want. So <laughs> you can bring your 300 modern team to silver. That's fine. Uh, no, Tyler, it's not the same thing. Uh, uh, to re- to reiterate real quick, PJ's event is April 15th. Right. You said May. Uh, it's April 15th. Yeah, yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, no WK. I said, I said Jay's event is in March. Jay's event's in March. Yeah, PJ. you said March, and then you said PJ's was in May. I oh, wanted... okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's April. A, April 15th, and then Rock Cup is in May. So. Right. So, you know. And states are sometime. Sometime. TBA. TBA. Yeah, Maybe yeah. next right. month, who knows. So that's great. That's a, that's a step up from where we were, but it's us doing it. It's not Whiz Kids doing it. It's yeah, us I agree doing with it. That. Yeah, we could oh. probably spend a whole episode on that. Right. What we have, all right. So let's, let's let's not cross that red line. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> but cross into oh. savings when you get Mountain Dew Pitch Black. <laughs> nice, dude is back. I love that stuff. Um, all right. So this one we actually <laughs> spoiled last episode. You're actually good. No, I like Pitch Black. I always liked it. What's it taste like? It's grape. Grape. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. That, I don't. That makes sense. I don't. I don't drink soda anymore. So, yeah, I, I, I normally don't, but I always drink the New Mountain Dew when it comes out. I gotta try it. It's just yeah. Like I mean, you, in me still remembers. You could probably equate it now, Dan. This is how I do it to like just having an alcoholic beverage. Like it's on that yeah. same. It's on that same level of like, oh, I don't drink alcoholic beverages. Oh no, I often. I mean, I totally. Of a Jack and Coke. Just have a Coke and Coke. Or, yeah, so I definitely still drink caffeine. I just don't drink soda. Right. I, I'm saying, like, I don't drink sodas for, like, dietary reasons. And it's like, well, it's, you know, there's a lot of reasons why not to. But that's the same reasons I feel like for drinking, like, a bunch of alcohol beverages. is like, right. you shouldn't every day. So it's like, okay, if I... You drink soda but, socially. Yeah, yeah, so if I, if, I, if I find myself, oh, you know, there's a, uh, I can have a Pepsi or something. Right, I guess I'll, I'll have one. Why not? Well, I mean, so I got rid of. Sugar. Don't go buy any. Right, I haven't I drank sugar sodas in about eleven years, and then last year I cut out late last year, uh, October or so, I cut out artificial sweeteners. Nice. So like no Splenda, no aspartame. So that just meant that diet soda and like zero sugar, you know, lemonades and that sort of stuff all is gone. This is artificial. Is honey artificial? No, no. Why? What's what does that word mean? It's natural. It's not man-made. Yeah, it's bee-made. Yeah, (laughs) right. Yeah, you can definitely eat what a bee pukes out, but not some sort of chemical. Well, sugar's not artificial. Uh, yeah, there's natural. Yeah, but so all of those things have calories in them. Yeah, sugar is considered natural. What about honey, Dan? Can you have honey in your tea? Um, I can, but I choose not to to save the calories. Okay. Yeah, I'm has sorry. Where you got a tangent? Elevated. No, no, it's fine. I, we, we... It wouldn't be a clay stuff episode without food talk, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah where it's a disservice if we don't talk about it a little bit, right? Um, which, by the way, Jason, those that all you can eat at Applebee's was shit last week. Like you know, good or, I, good I had or bad. better luck with it last week than I did the week before. Yeah, it was the opposite for me. We've got to go back to B-dubs. We, we tried the all-you-can-eat. I mean, I know we're not going to be back to B-dubs for probably two more weeks because we'll probably go yeah. somewhere to eat by the movie theater next week. Mm-hmm. What's, what's this What's this all-you-can-eat? Because my, so like, my local friends group is like, 
dude, we got to hit up Applebee's. And I'm like, I is this the, so the it, early two thousands? When did anyone ever say that? So you got all you can it's eat. Like, it's shrimp, bone, shrimp, riblets, and wings. Yeah. All you can eat shrimp. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So last week, the first when we went la- two weeks ago, they were cooking it fresh, and it was really good. This past Thursday when we went. They had pre-made stuff, and like my shrimp was like half-ass cold. Um, like it didn't you think make I me do that on uh, DoorDash, and they just keep delivering it. No, <laughs> no, <Hell> no. <laughs> no, you're gonna have you're gonna have to go out into reality. In in, in oh. person only. Sorry. Yeah, yeah you can't. Uh, no, you, I agree. You can't, I agree. I'm ready to go like the B dubs. Yeah, you can't copy and paste your shrimp order from uh, from a Roll Twenty <laughs> archive. Yeah, we're getting less less wings for the money. Yet. Applebee's anyway. Yeah, that's right. So uh, back to that. So this the across the red line, you can go up a. So there's two things, right? We Anthony pointed that out to us in our last episode, right? When the, with the pack, uh, you can go up elevation and stop, even if you don't have. I applaud permit. this change. Yes, absolutely. Man, I hate it. And you, you, <laughs> really? can go, and you can go yeah. down, and it makes sense thematically because it's like a superhero landing. Yeah, okay, the chief is going to do that. Well, he's got some wheels. <laughs> so are you suge- are you suggesting that WizKids needs to say handicapped people are not <laughs> able to use this? Oh, that's, a, that's just uh, a funny yeah. visual. and just roll it into <laughs> off the top of the fucking And building. that's how WizKids... Up, up, the, up the building? And that's like, how WizKids was canceled. <laughs> yeah. It's like rocket boosters activate and just out of ability to go to the room. <laughs> I like how you go. I like how you go exactly to the guy in a wheelchair. Like, well, like, like <laughs> I, I, Professor X. It breaks my immersion. There. I don't like it. <laughs> I I really don't like it just because it. Well, for one, justice for leap climb. Okay, it's had enough. All right, leave it alone. Um. And then two, yeah, just like thematically, it doesn't doesn't really make sense. I get that they're changing stuff to where like you know you can add elevators to the map. They didn't want to um, like block it up, I guess, or have it because it has been a problem with some maps in the past with elevated being an issue. I just don't, I just don't like it. I just, it just feels wrong to me. I get it. It's an it's an ick. That's fine. Yeah. But I think I, mean, why, I think I think overall this change has been you know nicely received. I it's, agree. Most people like this one. Yeah, it's another one of those like it simplifies things, kind of like what they did with hindering. I mean, it's essentially what they did with hindering, right? Like it's just well, and yeah, like so. <laughs> what what came to my mind for this one was yeah, you're right that like it made Titan's Tower, um, like playable. Do y'all, do y'all, do y'all? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. sure that yeah that one map yeah well so it was From eight years uh, ago well yeah reprint it it's reprint it's reprint it right <laughs> yeah no, well I'm... it's reprinted as a two by two yeah yeah well there you go you just have the rule <laughs> no I th- I think I think I'm not being hyperbole here I mean that they banned that map because. You know, you no, there've been a couple. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding when I said you could just reprint it and we could use it again. But then it would be. You know what WizKids yeah. should do Ooh. actually is it's a new like cash flow for them. They should market um, like WizKids branded scissors, and then you just cut off a foot of the maps, and then now they're legal. Genius. I the, I suggested that in did you on Facebook already? Yeah, I got my okay, scissors. Well, there you go. And then someone I, said, and then someone said, Dan, I could never cut up your. Uh, Mr. Chomp Swamp, and I'm like, Mr. Chomp understands, you know, urban sprawl and gentrification. It's all, <laughs> yep. It's all eminent thing. domain. Yeah, he he gets it. Mr. Chomp probably would have liked to have a smaller map so he could get the people easier. So yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. I'll have like to, I'll I, have to I'll have to I'll have to call him up and ask him. Like I know it's simplifying the game, like right? which is part of this, right? Like is to make things a little easier. I don't like. Like, I can understand if it's going up one elevation, like zero to one, one to two, two to three. Like, like your your point with the wheelchair, like there, saying you're going from zero to four. There is that's no, like a there skyscraper. Is no, there is no elevation zero, by the way. It's always one to two. 
sure, sure, sure. You're right. Well, <laughs> elevation, fine. One, two, three, four. Going from elevation one to four. That's like climbing up like a skyscraper. Or yeah, something, right? I feel it feels like it should be limited. And we have like, those maps like that. We just got Danny in the street. Danny in the street has one, two, three, and four. So the center of the map has big old elevation four hindream on it or uh, elevated on it. So Is it adjacent like, to level one? Yes. So it's like if I'm if I've got like I don't know uh, just a Molly Hayes or something. I don't know some little kid <laughs> like a Mary Jane Watson, just yep. normal Mary Jane. She shouldn't be able to go. All right. Wow! Like run up the side of the skyscraper to the yeah. Top. Just if, like mechanically, it probably makes sense to do it, but thematically, it just it feels off. Yeah, they should have limited it, but I get it. That's not simplifying the game. That makes it more. Fun. <laughs> I guess in the case of wheelchair persons, it does seem a bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but I think that's the corner case more than the the math. Yeah, yeah and, to, and and to be fair, yeah, it the way it was before, it felt bad when your figure did not have flight, right? When you got on these type of maps, it's like, okay, we we prefer figures with flight because you know you get on the what was the one map, the trench or something, one of those yeah. maps that had like mm -hmm. it was elevation all the way across, up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. Like those maps, it's like, oh, this stinks. Well, at least this time you could get up on one and maybe take a shot. Um, I, I, I do like the change. It's just I kind of wish it fit a little bit better thematically um, as opposed to just, hey, just run up this hill now. But Aren't there's some awful looking rock maps we were just using that had all that on. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, we we have a few. Right. Yeah. Um, but so this but does, speaking this does but, leads this but, real quick. This does leads itself to more people being on elevated to be knocked off now. So true. That's true. Um, so like the big thing you mentioned with like terrain and stuff like being blocked off. Um, well, they have thought about that with our new terrain additions. Um, that you cannot block off transition squares. And new yeah. maps, you will even see transition squares that don't denote stairs or ladders. Well, what about? What about indoor maps in blocking? In right. The same so, elevation. Yeah, so there are, they mentioned that, on some maps you might even see transition squares that don't denote stairs or ladders, but doorways between areas of the same elevation. Because these same elevation transition squares don't cross an elevation line, they won't affect movement in any way, but will note there spots you know. that can't be blocked. Uh, but that's going right. to be on maps coming out. Does it mean that we aren't going to be able to pop those three squares of blocking and in, uh, in good uh, indoor maps so sounds like they were listening good. to our podcast when you were kept going on about blocking people's starting areas with your three blocks of blocking oh no you, well, still, you still do that you're still gonna be able to do that yeah. no but they're like well we can't do anything about the old ones but man we're gonna at least prevent <laughs> new maps yeah yeah I, I like the, the change it makes yeah. sense it's gonna be so tasty the, the, the key thing the key huh. thing is they have to really do a good job denoting what is what because there's been a lot of maps where it's like is this actually a wall or not a wall so if they're actually transition squares that are like the ones on the same level to where you can't put things that's got to be clear like that's clearly got to be it don't sacrifice that just for nice artwork like or will they just forget to print them all together like the <laughs> in lab <laughs> yes yeah right. like whoopsie whoopsie Oh man, Morlock tunnels. By the way, Morlock tunnels. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so, uh, and then the other odds and ends, right? I, I don't think we're going to dive too deep into all the other odds and ends. There's there's more episodes to talk about all that other stuff. Um, and um, yeah. yeah, I didn't. There was nothing super big in there that I noticed. It's, it all just sort the, of made sense. And the odds and ends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the biggest one is the change to keywords. Game keywords are lost if that character goes to the sideline or removed for the game. Um, so yeah. that so that's a big one for swaps. Um, it's a big one for it? it's Why a big one it it's a big one for Krakow and revival too, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, why does that matter? If they go to the sideline, they lose it. Mm -hmm. Right, like why? if you had. Like like apocalypse and Genesis, and then you swap them out for other stuff. 
Yeah. Like you just lose all those keywords. Or like if you, like you try to no. get the X Men like to roll out, like because you had X Men on like Sky Tyrant or something, and then X- Apoc's gone, he won't get that or whatever. You know. No, they get there. swapped out and then they lose the keyword. But why does it matter if they're on your sideline and they don't have the keyword? Um, okay. I guess it's for if they gain it and go to your sideline and come back. Right, so... Like, double swap, I guess it might. Double fact, swap, it double matters. Swap. Oh, it's not going to affect the figures on the board, then. So, right, so, right, but right. It, so, would be KO'd, right? So, when it would be KO'd, do you remove the figure from the map? I don't no. think so. No. It would be. Okay, yeah, no. yeah, so then that's fine. So, Krakoan Revival is not affected. Um, yeah. Well, um... The only thing I can think of is one is double swap that that does limit that. And then the other one is like recruiter, like X Men recruiter. You can't like swap it out and then bring it in with recruiter now. But nobody was doing that anyway. But you can't do that. Right. Um cool. Alright, so questions. Um so Luke Baker asks, what is everyone's least favorite change? I think we've been very uh, vocal about that. What is your favorite change from this article? Wait, what's your least favorite change, then? And Alex, actually. Um, I think I think my least favorite change is the removal of theme team probability control, but it's not in such a... Okay, that's a, It's not as uh, egregious of a change as, as it is to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, my least favorite is probably the sideline, if I'm honest. I, I don't see it. I mean, it, it's nice. Like, me saying it's nice to not have as many is just me oh. trying to make it nicer. And, it, you know, it's like, oh, well, we have to deal with it anyway. No, I mean, I, I, I didn't see the point of no. shrinking. Correction. I, I did say mine. It was okay. the last loss of flavor text. Okay. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. Um, now, to me, I'm also a little bit sad about the sideline, but like that's only because in silver, and I have a five gallon bucket full of black Vulcans. <laughs> so, sure. um, but uh, what? So, what's your favorite change from the article, Jason? Uh, my favorite change overall, I guess, is being able to slap people with terrain. And just yanking that bear no, no, no. Out and slap somebody. With it. Favorite change from this article. Oh, it just has oh, to be from this article? I'm saying it's and from I this like article. The, I like the other question uh, better. Favorite change overall now that we're done. Um, then it's probably going to be like the uh, elevated. Oh, no, not back coming back, probably. It's got to be not yeah, back. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's yours as well, Tyler. Alec, what's your favorite one? Out of this article is the timing of multiple trigger defects. Yep, that's mine as well. One of. One hundred percent. Like, no longer saying when I get to do stuff just because you won map or you're doing something. Yeah, that's big. My stuff happens after your stuff if I'm not active player. Makes I sense. like that. Yeah. So Judge Cheats asks, "Will Collector be more relevant?" Yeah. I mean, PJ. What was collect- the question? I'm sorry. Will Collector be more relevant? So, like, PJ built that team with, like, swaps and stuff to, like, get both bonuses when Collector first came out. But, like, it didn't have prob. So, um, I think it could be. I'm not saying that yeah, definitively will be, but it could be. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets better because the the difficulty was meeting his conditions and the theme team conditions. And now you don't have to worry about theme team as much. So, it seems like it would be better right um miguel asked sideline being shrunk did that make swap teams obsolete now we didn't address this directly Do, are they obsolete now no i don't think so they're no. just they just don't have an answer they may not have as easy of an answer for everything that's right that's right uh like x-men is like oh i swapped this to counter this it's, it's like they have so many options now it's like okay Maybe you don't have as many options. Still great options, but not as many. Correct. Correct. Um, Dan, are you going to run Venom Thanos? Um, oh, yeah, we can talk about him a little bit. We didn't do that. Yeah, I mean, he's got the symbiotic fusion trait to where he can't be targeted by range attacks if they're within four. 
Uh, he gets to choose from a plethora of powers along with leadership. Um, and then well, she- it's the the six stone powers, right? Is what it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, that's neat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he shares that power. He can give out that power to anybody friendly characters with the symbiote or monster keyword within range. Um, he has a special power, Giant Reach 3. When Venom Thanos hits, after resolutions, you may choose a hit character to gain Immobile. Uh, then he's got one, two, three stop clicks with Battle <laughs> Fury and Exploit. So, um, am I running this guy? Um, maybe... Doesn't seem like a Dan figure. Doesn't really seem like a Dan figure, though. No, he only has four range. Yeah, I, I think have... he's okay. <laughs> True. I think he's okay at 50 if you build, um, like, with pieces that can use that. Yeah, that leadership thing is okay. Yeah, the but, leadership uh, and the power, like him, like Sky Tyrant, pack around a Venom Thanos so he can get you know shape close change. Close combat expert. Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, or prob. Yeah, there you go. Look at there. Not you a prob. Don't even need. To, there you go. Build a monster theme team. You just include Venom Thanos and just pack around your prob. <laughs> yeah. No change or whatsoever. Build, no change. Or just build a team with like three or four monster teams and then the best support figures right which happens to be venom magneto <laughs> magneto that's been on that team yeah that is true big ups for monster done um so will theme teams okay yes yeah, so thomas warren I, I we're not going to answer this question we're just going to acknowledge that you asked it because we talked about it will theme teams have a place in competitive play anymore um you know al- you've already listened to that part of the show <laughs> Theme teams are dead. Um, they're not. But um, Eric Adams, what pieces do you see being much more relevant now that Theme Teams has taken a step back? Collector, Super She Hulk, Miss Kang, etc. Um, I know personally, I need to like think about what those new twenty pieces are going to be. So, um, sounds like a weird tier maker. It, I think. Probably there was is. something in the new set. Oh, um, so things like the Legacy Joker and Lex, because their theme, their keywords were pretty limiting, and so now you know you can just build them with the best support pieces, and you're not really losing much. So something, something like that. Crazy Jane. I was gonna points. say, yeah, I was gonna say Crazy Jane. <laughs> it's not really good. Mm. Um. If you want, if you just have ten points left over, you're probably running a crazy Jane on a lot of teams. Yeah, because crazy Jane can give you prob. She, yeah, true. And ten points for outsiders is just great. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's got pulse wave. It is it really? Wave. Is that right? Does she have a fourteen movement phasing? Surely that's a mistake. Uh, no, she does. She gets you across the map, baby. Can she carry? I don't know. No, she, she can't. She can't. Okay. She carry well, a tiny. Um, True. All right, Andrew Wilson. How do you feel about the grand prize APOC having unassisted full map reach on the smaller size? I don't think that's accurate because he can only make a close attack, not a not a um, not a range attack. Grand prize, yeah, because he can just make a close attack. Right. What's his movement at top now? It's not 16. Well, it has to be 14. It's 12. So I guess maybe he can. Uh, never mind. I've... He can with the Parker Bonk sword. Yep. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of figures he can do. The yeah. dark side can do that now, too. Right. Just yeah, never mind. Eight, shoot eight. Yeah, we can almost, at this point, like past two podcasts or three we've been talking about the rules changes we probably could just do one talking about figures in general like taking the time to go through and start building different types of teams now that we're in this new brave new world <laughs> man, like, I, t- I mean i tell you what that that grand prize apoc is a hard nut to crack yeah i agree i i, I don't know if people practice it they probably have just Power racers are probably why he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't right. Make sense. Well, so I um, I did say uh, we did get some results from the Pacific Pacific Northwest, and the two the there was a, a an APOC and a Genesis that made top eight, and the report that I got was they gave up in top eight. Hmm. 
instead of maybe they had to leave or something. Well, instead of going for the roll off, right? They just gave up because they were barriered in, and they couldn't attack. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's on that's on them for playing those pieces. So right. Well, so one of them was a Genesis, so she can't phase, so she definitely gets locked in. Uh, and then APOC. Oh, was it a full point? It was, a, it was a full point Genesis. Yeah, I made top eight at a 21 person event. That feels the like. You run. Why would you run Genesis over a, APOC? What's one, the advantage? One, you. I mean, maybe they just won a Genesis and couldn't yeah, afford an fact, APOC. Sure. <laughs> and they just yeah, played them with Soul Swords. But. Uh, uh, Unless he charged for it, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he do, he does. They could have just asked for a roll off because there's. I don't know if they can kill him without giving points up with their with their stop clicks. And maybe they just maybe gave they up. Could have I think that's what I said. They just gave up. Sure. I would have just sat there and went for the roll off and started taking their um, objects off of them. Yeah. Right. Crack the twenty. It's fine. Sure. Crack it. See what happens. <laughs> Yeet. Yep. Um. Skirt. So, but I think it's fine. And do you think swap teams are still viable with the reduced sideline space? Yes, we answered that. Is Prisoner of Planet Doom better than Doctor Thing with the new initiative rules? You have to remember, Doctor Thing can still block, and I kept Doctor Thing on the board with a Warlock sword, and he's fine. So if you want to, if you want to play Doctor Thing, don't be afraid to keep him on the board. He's fine. Prisoner of Planet Doom is bad because he doesn't actually make you go first he, he makes them skip their first turn but that still means that you break you break first for immunity first so they get to attack you first still the only good thing about him was you could maybe mess with their equipment before but now that's gone he's his effect is almost useless right uh jay sansen's asking about them theme team we talked about that a little bit uh, Reese Ward, uh, do we do we think that WizKids will walk back one or two of the more unpopular changes? They have before. It's possible. Um, yeah. I get the the one <laughs> that everybody's talking about is the theme team. It seems like it's the, the least popular. Um, it's possible. It's I would say unlikely, but again, they've done it before, so you know, just keep keep talking about it. They they they'll see it. Yeah. They look at stuff on Facebook. Exactly. Amato, we talked about Gladdy Daddy a little bit. Gladdy Daddy, baby. Uh, he, mm -hmm. he never was unviable, by the way. Just ask Alex. Um, yeah, top eight with him. Brandon Michael Bruner asked to give a non-competitive rules question. Uh, I want to have Jason answer this question because he's the Spider-Man. Jason, what character, Spider-Man character, are you hoping for in the new set? One Spider-Man character that we haven't already seen before, or something. Oh, maybe you want another one. Maybe you want to see Marvella yeah. again. I don't know. Uh Chasm is like the new villain that would be really cool. It's like Ben Riley when he turns evil. Ben uh, Riley's back. He has been back for a while, uh, but yeah, he has like all these like weird new one. powers and a really cool costume. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty dope. I want to see. I want to see Big Wheel. That's, that's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah. Oh, we got a Big Wheel before, didn't we? It was the Retaliator, right? That was well. Oh, that was a War. That, that was that was a War wheel, wheel, and that was DC. Oh, okay. Yeah, Big Wheel. Give me Big Wheel. Uh, but you know what? I I really just want. I want a good a Spider Man that's like 150 to 200 points. Spider Man is super underrepresented. Spider Man is one of the strongest superheroes. I want a Spider-Man that has traded super senses that can't be outwitted. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, uh, we might, maybe we'll get one of those, like a bracelets type thing that does that, right? And then Nora's like hindering and, and Nora's elevated and can't. Oh, we're getting it. objects in this set, aren't we? Right? Yeah, we're getting the... five. There's five in addition to the two that we get in the play at home kits. And two of those are the symbiotes, right? Right. So no symbiote. Probably no symbiotes in the main set. That'd be Unless they went like, yeah, no, the obscure ones. <laughs> yeah, you get like a riot symbiote or something. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Not gonna lie, like to get yeah. some of the like really random symbiotes. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, like I'd, I'd be to give support. 
So we had an free. anti-venom that, that is support is free. Yeah. yeah. But give us like the actual symbiote, like a venom and carnage symbiote. That'd be kind of neat. But... Yeah. Just send us one, Wiz Kids, if you want. Whenever you make the anti venom symbiote, thanks to Alex's suggestion, we'll be glad to no, that. Was, that was uh, Tyler's suggestion, I think. Oh, he uh, said, Ted Tyler. He said he said anti venom. Oh, so. gotcha. Sorry, it's getting late. Um, so Lamar, we did talk about some keyword week characters. That's probably going to be a topic on our next show. Um, we need to think about that a little bit more. Uh, with the introduction of new card designs from Reese, do you think that uh, Whiskers will introduce a new format like we got with the Silver Age designs? Maybe. Um, uh, no Ro- <laughs> Robbie, do we expect scoring to go through the roof? Um, well, yeah, I think I think games will be more interactive and will reach a conclusion more often than they used to. Yeah, I agree. That's the biggest thing that's kind of going not under not overlooked but people aren't talking about as much is that this is going to speed up the game a lot uh the smaller maps you being able and that that has been a kind of a complaint for a while it's that it's too you know you know 10 to 20 point games that'll happen last probably um you know a side thing i was noting off of the question before this about card design it's like, man, they really mistimed the Hellfire Gala because beautiful set, beautiful cards, but now the cards are older, and even the pack is out of date now. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. the the pack was beautiful. Like I, I was like, mm-hmm. this is sweet. I wanted this pack, and now it's like I can't use it anymore. Like it's, it's yeah, that's, that's a little cool. like, yeah, that's like probably. They, some sort of scheduling issue there would be my guess. Yeah, like but, I yeah, wish there was a way like... to circumvent that or something. It'd be like, hey, here's a an updated Hellfire Gala pack that you could like print off or something. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be cool because I really love that design. Like that would be my go-to pack because it is very, you know, ornately made. It is very nice. Yeah, but I, no, that, it's... That, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That really sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Rob, we answered your question, and then Jason Lavendera, we did answer your question as well. So, appreciate y'all writing in. Um, final thoughts, Jason? Uh, I'm kind of half and half on all the changes. But I need more, I don't know, I need more time to absorb it all. Right. Alex, final thoughts? I don't know what I'm going to do with all this free time now that Heroclix is dead. So... <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Probably, probably just you know, <laughs> hang out on HC Realms more with everyone else. <laughs> yeah. That's saying Hero Clicks is dead. No, actually, you're, you're uh, gonna play, you're gonna play actually, oddly enough, Alex Realms has been uh, overwhelmingly positive on all the change. Well, yeah. Well, there is. The, I, I mentioned that because the fourth thing on the list of general discussion discussion is now that Hero Clicks is dead. Yeah. What is people doing? Yeah, Are you true. painting Crisis Protocol or going back to Magic? <laughs> yeah. No, thank Yukio, you. baby. Uh, Tyler. Um, yeah, the uh, some of the changes are great. <laughs> this whole thing, it sours the whole thing for me. It, I Overall, I think with this change, Hero Clicks is worse because of the theme team. Uh, that may just be me because I I really do like building. It's the best part of the game, and team teams added a lot to that for me. And it's just kind of kind of irrelevant now, which sucks. But uh, maybe I'm being dramatic or hyperbolic, so we'll we'll see how it shakes out. Hey, but you know we might be coming up to either next week or the week following. We should start getting some porter previews for Spidey, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Let's I think I, I, yeah, I think I saw. The solicitor was updated to show March 15th. Mm-hmm. So that would put quote unquote pre releases on the 1st. So yeah. that means Scott would be on the 20th, 13th, or 20th. He usually goes a week or two before pre releases. Man, so. what a good Valentine's Day gift that would be from WizKids to get some Porter, some beautiful Porter video. Mm hmm. I'm all for it. Um, I am all in on these new rule changes. Super exciting. 
um, ready to dive in and build some teams and get some new maps and um, I'm, I'm super big on all these changes um, a lot of good stuff I see so thanks everybody for listening to Clicks Off today we'll talk to y'all next time see ya later see ya